how I began was just uh, defending the unborn here locally uh, in my normal teaching. Did not even know such thing as the pro-life movement or pro-choice and all the terminology. And a young lady uh, who was more involved than I was regionally uh, asked me, did I want to get more involved in the movement? She had met one of my uh, students. Uh, walking by an abortion clinic, thinking she was going to go in. She approached her, and she said, no, my pastor taught me about this already. <laughs> and uh, she said, well, who is your pastor? And that led to me going to uh, uh, learn Life Education Resource Network. There was a conference down in Virginia Beach, and um, I felt that I should go. And my wife and myself went, and the first time I heard of the Negro Project, and uh, even why the Akua Ferro was the uh, presenter. And I heard of the eugenic design, the, uh, the mindset, the, the ideology, the, the players. And I was stunned. And I was stunned to find, uh, even more so, uh, having gone to college uh, and, and gone to uh, seminary, that I never heard any of these things. Not so much as an iota <laughs> of these things. And yet, It was prevalent, dominating, and at that time, the figure was 1,042, 1,452 African-American children killed each day. And here I was, a shepherd, and didn't know of this devouring agent that was preying upon the African-American community uh, to the degree in which it was. So uh, I talked to Pastor Johnny Hunter, national director, and I said, I have to uh, want to partner with you in addressing this issue uh, nationally and locally, and thus began uh, uh, my quest. And in 2001, uh, I came up with the idea, but uh, 2002, we launched the website uh, blackgenocide.org. And actually, uh, the young computer, uh, Michael Spielman, who does Abort73, uh, Abort.73, another great website if you want to see what abortion is. Uh, He was helping me put the site together. We put all the information together. He said, what are you going to call it? And I said, ah, just call it uh, Learn, I guess. Learn Northeast is just to reach. I want to reach the African-American community with the message of abortion. And he said, well, why don't you just call it Black Genocide? That's what you're always calling it any other time. And when he said it, it was like when uh, (laughs) Mary... Mary heard Elizabeth, something leaped in my womb, and <laughs> I, I said, that's the name, Black Genocide. So we called it blackgenocide.org, and it's... Uh, well, we're going to break down with you the real numbers. 52%, and that's conservative, of yeah. blacks never get born, they're murdered. That is a bigger statistical genocide than we've even seen in Rwanda against uh, the Tutsis or what we saw with Hitler. This is a real genocide, and eugenics is the religion of the elite. They teach it as phony environmentalism, that humans are a disease and a scourge. This is what funds the entire global government movement. It's what you always find. It's what all the big banks fund. Uh, And blacks are their number one target, but they're doing it to everyone now. And so all these fools out there that are racist deep down and say, yeah, get rid of these black people or get rid of these brown people, you know, all the white supremacists out there, it's being done... To you as well, this is for everyone, but blacks are the apple of the globalist eye. And I just want to add uh, that, uh, you know, the good news is we see national statistics. More and more people are beginning to wake up to this. But uh, let's break down the black genocide program, the Negro program, as as it was called by Margaret Sanger and the Rockefeller Foundation, and uh, what these uh, mass murderers are doing right now. Well, no no question about it. It was a uh, systemic designed uh, by the eugenics, the elitists of this nation, and uh, who are very much more in power than I ever dreamed could uh, dream that they were. And the key thing was to introduce abortion and sterilization to the African-American community. Uh, it varied down through the years, but of course in 1973, by their own evaluation, they finally found the key uh, element to reduce the numbers of African Americans under suspicion, uh, that they, they would not be deemed as suspicious, and that was through abortion. It was also through commandeering key, uh, key African American iconic figures to 
uh, condone it. And this is the greatest strategy. Uh, you know, Jesse Jackson, uh, 1977, is basically where I coined the phrase black genocide was from Jesse Jackson, who said abortion is black genocide. What happens to a mind of a person in the moral fabric of a nation that can abort a baby without a pang of conscience? Yeah, that's the one good thing about Jesse Jackson uh, uh, is is he did come out against that. And you go back to what W.E.D. Du Bois and others, you read Margaret Sanger's letters. She said, we can't let these people know we want to kill them. They don't trust us. We've got to get rid of these weeds. We've got to hire black leaders. Exactly. Three or four colored ministers with engaging social backgrounds was her <laughs> exact words. And, and Jesse, when he decided to be president, he wanted to be president, realized he wasn't going to get the money he needed unless he switched his position. And so uh, he literally became a shepherd leading the sheep to the slaughter. And so so then, early on he was good, but then he flip-flopped for power. Uh, how many millions of blacks have been exterminated? Sixteen million, and that is a conservative estimate. I mean, is a billion dollars worth it to kill 16 million of your own people or anybody? I mean, I mean, I mean, they could. Uh, Satan could lead me up on a mountain and say, "I will make you God on earth if you'll kill one child." And I wouldn't do it if they were black or polka dotted or green or white. Exactly. I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, this is so evil. It is unquestionably evil, and it's uh, it's very sad commentary to the uh, civil rights movement because uh, Dr. King died in '68, and he more or less never there never was really a uh, a, a designated. Uh, Joshua to come in and lead, and basically they began to fight amongst themselves for power, and this brought about an opportunity with Roe versus Wade, which was right around the corner, to uh, offer money to these leaders, and they basically defying their silence and asking for their uh, their allegiance. And yeah. now, sixteen million dead people. Sixteen million, and then there's just the consciousness of the deaf culture being so deeply embedded in the African American community. The fact that we would embrace a a, a message that would cause a, a a woman to do the antithetical thing about life being in her, and that is to kill it. That is just the opposite of God, of 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 faith, of uh, a walk of of uh, you know religious. Uh, bringing and Reverend so Childers, stay there. BlackGenocide.org. Our websites are InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. We're going to come back and continue breaking this down. And of course, they don't stop there. They put the fluoride in your water, the GMO crops, all designed to sterilize you.